कुछ पाने के लिए कुछ खोना पड़ता है राइट वी हैव ऑल हर्ड ऑफ दैट फ्रेज बट इन द 125 सीसी सेगमेंट इट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक द स्टोरी ऑफ इट्स लाइफ यू सी कम्यूटर बाइक्स इन द 125 सीसी सेगमेंट कैन डू व्हाट द स्पोर्टी बाइक्स कैन एंड व्हाट द स्पोर्टी बाइक्स कैन डू द कम्यूटर्स रियली कांट एंड द वंस इन द मिडिल आर अ बिट ऑफ अ पिश पॉश दे डोंट रियली डू एवरीथिंग परफेक्टली और एनीथिंग परफेक्टली बाय दैट फैक्ट बट व्हाट इफ यू कॉम्पेंसेट फॉर ऑल द शॉर्टकमिंग्स ऑन ईच साइड ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रम दैट्स व्हाट बजाज हैज ट्राइड विद देयर ऑल न्यू Pulsar N125, and they've gotten pretty close. So let's get to it and see what the Bajaj Pulsar N125 is like. You might be wondering why another 125 Pulsar. We already have the Classic and the NS, so both spectrums are covered. Well, maybe this N125 might sound like it needs to be in the middle of both, and it is, but not really. The N125, this brand new, all new platform, has a little bit of the best of both worlds, but it doesn't share anything with both motorcycles. So the engine is. 125 cc single cylinder two valve engine that is air cooled pushing out 8 ish newton meters of torque and 12 horsepower the chassis is not shared with either the ns or the classic 125 it's actually a new frame that is thicker in terms of diameter and thinner in terms of outright thickness of material so it has brought in a lot of difference in terms of behavior and it also sits more into the sporty side when you talk about the spectrum in its whole so yes this is a comfy commuter but on track it definitely is up there with all of the 125 cc bikes that can go on track So how is it on track? Let me clear out that this motorcycle wasn't designed to be a track machine, more like a fun agile bike for the road. But this small technical track allowed me to quickly get to paces with the bike. First things first, the bike feels very light under you. At just 125 kgs, this motorcycle requires very little effort to move about. This chassis is great. It's pretty nimble and it compensates for the softly sprung suspension setup. in corner transitions when the front forks would decompress and recompress during change of direction you can feel the chassis balance in play correcting the front and while the front 240 mm disc brakes have great bite the rear drum set has no stopping power whatsoever that being said the n125 is an absolute ball to flick around at no point did i not have a smile on my face It's grunty and it has a great amount of torque at the low end. So even if you catch yourself a gear higher, you'll not miss out on any oomph. The N125 is clearly a hoot to ride.
One good thing about the Pulsar N125 is that its ergos are really built for everybody. Anybody from any size or fit can actually really fit in the motorcycle and be comfortable while being on the saddle. So as you can see, I am standing on the bike. The seat height is 795 mm and it definitely does not feel like it because of how well tapered the seat is. Uh, and the rider seat is also pretty large. So you have a lot of room to play around. Once you lift your legs and put them on the foot pegs, you can see that there is still quite a lot of room for someone who is marginally taller than me to be able to sit pretty comfortably relaxed or even while attacking corners. So it is a very nice place to be in. And when it comes to the upper half, this is where there has been a little bit of compromise in terms of performance and dynamics because you are sitting pretty upright. And as you can see, even when I'm sitting completely upright, I still have quite a lot of play in my arm. So I am relaxed, but when I want to be on track, I need a little bit more leverage. I would like my arms to be a little further away so that I can lean in a little bit more. And that is the compromise you are going to pay for. But the chassis is where the game really, really changes. On the road, the N125 shines in different aspects. This is a very refined motorcycle. The NVH levels have improved drastically compared to the other pulsers. The ride is plush, the seat is super comfy, and this could very well be the ultimate delivery machine. The super light clutch makes it effortless to crawl through traffic and reaching the ground is really easy because of the tapered seat. It's frugal too. Bajaj claimed that the N125 will average about 60 kilometers to the liter, which is at par with its competition. There are a couple of things that could put you off though. Like the gearbox feels a little clunky to work with. The start-stop feature is a little moody and the cable management in the front end looks a little shabby. The integrated starter generator also makes the bike sound like a stuck throttle cable when you start it, which could be a little off-putting. If you've seen the images of the bike early on and the comments, you might have understood that uh, this bike got quite a lot of divided opinions on its design. But let me tell you, in person, it looks genuinely very pretty. In our briefing, the boys at Bajaj told us that the brief for the design team was that they need an urban, iconic, fun bike for the Gen Z. And I think they have absolutely smashed it out of the park with styling because it looks lit, for a lack of a better word. Coming to the outright design, if you look at it from the front, the new LED looks very menacing and this new shroud in the uh, LED housing looks very nice too. The front telescopic forks have been covered with a plastic cover that makes it look much more sportier and beefier. But uh, underneath, we all know what it is. Moving on towards the tank, the new color actually really pops out through the tank shrouds and the shoulder line is very muscular. So it gives it a very nice big bike feel while on the saddle. Moving on towards the side, uh, you can see a couple of plastic bits that actually look really nice and make the motorcycle look like one singular piece. And uh, you have a little bit of silver on the bottom, which I think should have just been blacked out. It would have looked much nicer. And moving on towards the rear subframe, there is this little extension that looks so aero-like. It's very pretty and overall, yes, look at it in person and you will be impressed. Having spent the day with the Pulsar N125, I can gladly report that this is definitely a sporty motorcycle. If you're actually looking for a sporty motorcycle in the 125cc segment that you want to learn pushing a motorcycle and getting fast at the track with, the N125 is actually really nice because it teaches you a lot of things in a very friendly manner without punishing you. And that is a trait that can go a very long way in the beginning of a biker's journey. So yeah, if you want a friendly motorcycle that's frugal, dailyable, fun to ride and capable, look no further than the Bajaj Pulsar N125. Do let us know your thoughts on it and check it out in your city. Forget the images. This looks very pretty in person and you definitely will fall in love with it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.